Well, this a remarkable moment just moments yeah. ago, the president's longtime lawyer and fixer, Michael Cohen, heading off to prison for three years. This is him leaving his New York Michael, apartment. Can you come over here? Uh, he, he had comments directed, it seemed, at the president uh, as he goes to prison for three years for crimes, including a crime that he has implicated the president in, and that is using campaign funds to silence uh, some of the president's accusers uh, of having affairs with him. Uh, I imagine this is not the last we've heard from the president's longtime lawyer and fixer, Poppy. I imagine you are right, and he has said as much this morning. Let's go to our colleague Kara Scannell. She is right outside of Michael Cohen's apartment there in Midtown Manhattan. A short statement, but boy, did it say a lot. That's right, Poppy. We heard from Michael Cohen addressing the press where he had said that he hoped that he returns from prison in three years from now, that he will be a country without xenophobia, without injustice, and without lies at the helm of the country. He also said that there still remains much to be told, and he looked forward to the day when he could share more information. Now, Michael Cohen had been President Trump's personal attorney for 10 years. He pleaded guilty to campaign finance violations. The only person in the course of this two-year investigation to implicate the president directly in these crimes. Now, Michael Cohen is going to head up to now 75 miles northwest of New York City to Otisville, New York, where the prison is, and there he will enter into the prison population. He is expected to be assigned a job. He will live a very regimented lifestyle. He will wake up at 6 a.m. and have lights out at 11.30. He will also have some leisure time. And in this prison camp, particularly, there's a minimum security element of it in which that he will have access to basketball courts, tennis courts. Now, we do have the sound of Michael Cohen speaking. I want to throw to that now so people can hear Michael Cohen speaking in his own words. I hope that when I rejoin my family and friends, that the country will be in a place without xenophobia, injustice, and lies at the helm of our country. There still remains much to be told. And I look forward to the day that I can share the truth. And thank you all very much. How are you feeling today, Michael? Now, this is a remarkable fall from grace for Michael Cohen, who was at Donald Trump's side for years. Now he is heading off to prison to Otisville, New York, where he will begin serving that three-year prison sentence. Poppy, Jim? Okay, Kara Scannell, thank you for being there. Let's talk about this. Bianca Goladriga, our contributor, is with us. Also former federal prosecutor Gene Rossi, who's also former assistant U.S. attorney for the Eastern District of Virginia. Good morning to you both. Um, Good morning. Bianca, let me just begin with you on just, you know, this is the culmination of quite a few years for Michael Cohen. How big is this? Well, this is a big moment for his life and for his family's, no doubt. Uh, you think about this man who just a few years ago said he would take a bullet for the president yeah. and stood by his side. Uh, clearly not an objective um, outlier here. But that having been said, I recall his testimony before Congress and when he spoke directly to Republicans and said, listen, I was in your shoes. I was where you are right now. I was drinking right. this president's Kool-Aid. I'm telling you, it will not end well for you. The fact that he says there's more to be told, um, you know, perhaps a book. I don't think him being in prison will make his voice unheard over the past few years.